Gang, today's video are clips that I shot during Exxon's uh, from a few weeks ago that it took place in Milan. I generally go there every year and shoot clips of different brands and that's what I have for you guys today. And these are some brands that I've even either spoken about on the channel or perhaps I have not. New brands, older brands, new fragrances, existing fragrances, but lots of great clips and discoveries at Exxon. So if you're curious to learn about upcoming fragrances that are launching soon, then please stay tuned. Here she blows the white wing. 
So now the collection is complete. Uh, whatever you want, have the time to go through all 16. Let me know what you think about the collection. Take care and arrivederci. Hi, I'm Georgiana. I'm the founder of Sepport. Thank you, Sebastian, for being with me here this morning. Uh, we are here to present our two collections. The first one has been dedicated to Milan. The second one has been launched uh, last year and it has been dedicated to London uh, with a new destination. Uh, so five metroscopes, um, all inspired by five places in Milano and three metroscopes inspired by three artworks uh, of the new tube Elizabeth line in London. Mom, I mentioned something about uh, Bertrand du Chapeau. Uh, we did a great job with Bertrand du Chapeau because he translated very well um, these art pieces. I'm talking mainly about the last collection dedicated to London. Uh, he translated uh, the artwork of these three artists that we chose uh, into effective notes because he knows very well these three artists. So it has been very easy uh, to, to speak to him and to imagine uh, their background and to, um, uh, to give a better image of uh, this public art that we can admire in the underground of London. You might want to also say something about the price and that it's also all over spray. Um, this is a smart product, yes, with a smart price, as you said, because it's the first approach to the niche perfumery. Uh, the spray, I would uh, say two words about the internal technology of irrigation, because inside, actually, we have a wagon valve, so no gas. Inside the spray can, you have this wagon valve in aluminium, uh, between the wagon valve and the spray can, there is the compressed air, so no gas. That's why the irrigation is continued, also upside down. Upside down. It's just like this. It's a perfume created also for the hair, so it's, it has been uh, created to wear it also on the hair. You have just 20% of alcohol inside. And the price? 58 euros, 100 ml. <laughs> I thought it's 150 ml. 150 ml. Okay. Hi, I'm Lisa Rao Mawishani. I am perfumer from Parfum du Cita. I would like to present you my 13th perfume at SN Milan this year. Thank you, Sebastian. This is the perfume that I talk about you, about Vetiva and Petuli. So this is the book of my father and the perfume inspired by my father, Monbri, to Mawishani. He spent a lot of time working as a poet and I want to create something that extends his character. It has a very beautiful spice blend on the top and then part of the flower and then the base of masculine, gentle wood and patchouli, a lot of patchouli. So let's smell it together, Montre. I hope you will enjoy this fragrance because it's for people who love niche perfume, who want to smell something very unique. And I'm so happy to be present here. And I want to tell you that if you want to know the news, we have so many things coming up at Parfum Lucita. But stay tuned at Sebastian's channel. So I'm going to tell him the first to know. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hello everybody, my name is Alessandro uh, from Mas Milano, some of you might know me, and today I will be introducing you our latest addition to the Mas Milano family, which is called Milano Fragranza. Milano Fragranza is obviously a collection of fragrances dedicated to my city, the city of Milan, and each and every fragrance, we've got 10 in the collection as of today, um, is dedicated to a specific place of the city. Galleria is dedicated to the shopping gallery, and uh, uh, Brera is dedicated to the Brera pedestrian uh, area where we have the art gallery, the painting gallery. Cortile is dedicated to a courtyard. Naviglio is dedicated to the canal, and so on. 
and so forth. Um, I would like today to spend maybe a couple of minutes introducing the two latest launches. Uh, the one that appeared uh, really two weeks ago is called Piazza Affari. Affari in Italian means business, and Piazza Affari is the square where we have the stock exchange. This fragrance is a fresh, aromatic fougere, which is meant to represent the quintessential Italian elegance uh, of uh, the bankers uh, and the financial guys. And uh, in Christmas we launched uh, Panettone. If you ever visited the city of Milan uh, during Christmas, uh, you know that every Milanese uh, will eat uh, a very traditional Christmas cake called Panettone. Panettone is this big fluffy pastry buttered with uh, zest inside, there is orange zest, cedar zest and raisin. It's a gourmand and it's very very yummy and edible. I also suggest you might try uh, Naviglio. Uh, the story behind Naviglio is freshly washed clothes uh, with this soap bar which is called Savon de Marseille. And Basilica is an incense, it's dedicated to a church, uh, Basilica di Santa Brogio, opening with rosemary and thyme, then we have incense, uh, and in the dry down you have a warm milk accord. This uh, brand was introduced during the pandemic, so many, many people didn't know the brand, and they refer to it as the Blue Bottles. And so, here you go, Milano Fragrance, the Blue Bottles. My name is Céline Werner. I'm the founder and creator of the brand Olfactive Studio that I launched in 2011, so almost 11 years ago. And I'm launching my new fragrance, Dancing Light. This is the number 18 of the brand in the black collection. And Dancing Light is a white flower bouquet inspired by a picture of a Norwegian photographer called Freudis Dalheim of love and nights. So the idea is um, icy, icy top notes of icy mint and uh, Siberian um, pine needles. And then a very, very nice bouquet created by the perfumer Sidonie Lancessor, who did Lumia Blanche uh, 10 years ago for me. I wanted to work again with her. Uh, so it's the first time I'm working for the second time with the same perfumer. Usually I change from one project to another. And so it's a white flower bouquet of jasmine, neboli, fresia and syringa over base notes of sandalwood and cedarwood. Very fresh, very modern, contemporary. Um, really something new in the brand. Um, new option of flowers after launching the rose, the iris and the violet of the leaf of pure. I think this one is really perfect for spring and summer. Hi, this is I'm Michel Boutsas from Le Jardin Retrouvé. And I'm Clara Feather from Le Jardin Retrouvé also. And we both are at Exence uh, 2022, uh, presenting our new fragrance and new brand identity. The new fragrance is this Mousse Arshiama, extraordinary oak moss, marine and, and uh, incense uh, uh, sent done by Maxence Moot. Created by Maxence Moot. Um, our in-house perfumer. And uh, what you see behind us is the new brand identity of the Refound Garden. Uh, with the birds chirping, I hope. <laughs> uh, this is all about joy, uh, about comfort, about uh, being in a world, a difficult world sometimes, and bringing uh, affection and comfort to everyone. Do you want to say one more thing? or just? I want to say also, it's like a little bit like forest baby because it's, it's that feeling of utmost and that feeling of being in the forest and just feeling peace and feeling uh, happiness. And Sebastian, you have to know that some people come in here, they smell Musa Ashiyama and they say, hearing the birds, could we have a bed here and rest <laughs> in the middle of the fair? <laughs> That's nice. Hi, I'm Nida Vermeer from Nida Vermeer Creations. We've just launched a new line of fragrance by NBC. Our first fragrance from the line is Tina, which means sandalwood in Latin. 
It was basically a lavender sandalwood heaven. Very, very enveloping, peaceful and beautiful. The second fragrance is Nemus, which is a glade in Latin. And this is a green, re-energizing fragrance. Very bubbly and energetic. And the third is purpurium, which means purple in Latin. And uh, it is warm, cozy, boozy. It's beautiful. Um, and I think they will appeal to everyone. The fragments range consists of three perfumes. The first is Tina, which means sandalwood in Latin. It was developed with Fabrice Olivieri. Uh, Fabrice Olivieri is an independent consumer. The second is Nemus, which means glade in Latin. Glade, woods in Latin. It's a green, energizing fragrance, bubbly and interesting uh, all year round. Created with Petro de Chiffour, who has been co creating all our perfumes, as you know. And the third, Purpurium, which means purple in Latin, was created with Cristiano Canali, and it's a warm, boozy fragrance. And uh, they are available on our website. Uh, please check it out, and soon to be available in the US with Lucky Sand and others. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, I'm Alexander Mani, I'm the brand ambassador of Istanbul Parfum, and I'm going to be talking about our latest launch for 14. 72. So it was inspired by the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri and in this book it's a huge poem and in this poem the main character goes from the ninth circle of hell up to heaven. But because we wanted to spin it we went from heaven to hell. So we partnered with Julien Lasquine to create this fragrance. So the top notes represent heaven so it's a very bright, fresh and fracious aromatic Pumps in the face with a lot of solar and floral notes to kind of evoke the new Garden of Eden. And as you go into the fragrance, it's a slow descent into hell. But the hell is not a place where you would fear going, it's a place where you want to go. So, uh, Jillian actually used another dose of rum absolute to kind of create this lusty, carnal sweetness like you really want to get. Not even get dirty, but you want to get to it. And so, through purgatory, that bridges heaven and hell. Uh, in purgatory, we used a huge, beautiful dose of jasmine sandbag from LML Naturals. Uh, so basically, the more it goes, the more carnal it will get, the more fleshed out and fleshy it will get, uh, until we get to hell, which is very sweet and smoky and, and slightly dirty, and it's really beautiful on its own. So, with Ensemble, the idea, it means King Incense in English, and the idea with Ensemble was to work on the two big imageries relative to incense. The church called smokes of churches and cathedrals on one hand, and on the other hand, all of this oriental, I don't want to say word, uh, imagery, Arabian imagery, the incense in the desert, the resonoids, the balsams, the heat, the bulls, and we kind of woven these two threads together. So on the one hand, we've got a very cold burst of instant CO2, a lot of pink pepper to evoke the cold smoke, and we've got also some smoky notes of Formosa, which is a smoky incense, to really evoke this kind of cold smoke billows rising under the nave and the vault of the cathedral. And on the other hand, woven with this, we've got um, a core of saffron and a gourmet base uh, around cacao bean, well, actually white cacao extract. And that's an interesting extract because they've extracted the fresh cacao beans as they're still white, and so we don't get this cacao and cocoa and gourmet feeling, but we have a butteriness, we have a creaminess. It gives this certain velvety texture to this instant, sorry, and with the saffron and the oud, you basically have the two imageries kind of are really well interlaced. So that's the idea of King Olsen. It's an Olsen one. Hey, I'm Geraldine, the founder of Essential Parfum. We're showing here our latest creation, Big Infusion, by Nathalie Lorson, Master of Russian Red Fermanish, with an amazing fig blend, orange blossom, mandarin, bergamot, 
that means it's like a TV broadcast that can be produced. Standard would sound Come and try it. Hi, my name is uh, Michele Marin. I'm the nose creator of uh, this line, Soto Tour Parfum, completely 100% made in Italy. And uh, I have to introduce the concept of uh, Soto Tour because I speak about our soul, our feeling, our emotion. Sorry for my English, not completely very well. But uh, we can start to speak about, uh, for example, Fil Rouge is a, a beautiful fragrance with inside a, a note of uh, um, amber, violet leaves and vanilla and uh, an accord of uh, wood also just a touch and uh, warm spicy cinnamon nutmeg and this is very good because it is uh, also uh, so passion and warm another one is gender ginger one of my favorite because uh, there is uh, an accord with ginger grapefruit cardamom uh, not cardamom sorry bergamot lemon and accord on the bottom of amber so it's very fresh but the same there is the contrast between fresh and warm and the last one that i want to introduce is morphosis changing in our lives and it's a beautiful accord with patchouli and an accord of heliotropio that I love these flowers so I think that to mix together the hearty note with the heliotropio and something else Hi everyone, my name is Dimitri and I am the founder of Goldfield and Banks Australia. And today I'm presenting you Purple Suede. And Purple Suede is our second fragrance in the botanical series. As you probably know, Goldfield and Banks stands for the extraordinary beauty of Australia and celebrating its botanical richness. And for this particular fragrance, we've gone all the way to Tasmania to source some of the most beautiful and most pristine and organic lavender. So Purple Suede is a lavender slash leathery fragrance, aromatic, with notes of obviously leather notes. We have raspberry, we have um, extremely beautiful cardamom, we have vetiver fragrance and dark amber, agarwood, but we have lavender. And this lavender from Tasmania is growing in some locations where um, some of the areas are absolutely pristine. There is no pollution in the air, no pollution in the ocean, in the soil, and no pollution in the sea, which makes this fragrance absolutely unique to me and hopefully to you. Hi there, uh, this is Sultan, Sultan Pasha from Sultan Pasha Perfumes. Uh, Let's talk to you, man, for a zoologist, perfuming uh, behind the same mascara. Just here uh, to talk to you briefly about uh, the composition itself. Um, I'll just show it to you. So bear with me. And voila, there you go. Now, uh, with regards to sacred scarab, um, I did a lot of research. I had done a lot of research. Uh, and this is basically to make sure that the various facets the top note, middle note, and base note, specifically the base note, is uh, representative and very accurate to ancient uh, and, um, and representative to ancient Egyptian perfumery. Um, so at the top notes you have lemon, aldehyde, civet, and blue lotus. In the middle you have plum, wine accord, and uh, in the base, you have Kufi liquid, and uh, it really juxtaposes well together. Uh, the reason, um, sorry, this is for the uh, The reason why I have decided to do uh, Sacred Scarab was because, as a child, as a kid, I've always been interested in ancient Egyptian and uh, culture. And uh, for this, I researched into the ancient Grecian uh, recipe for kifi, or also known as kefet uh, in Greek. Uh, for that, I went uh, to various seminars and also studied uh, various sources of uh, kefet uh, incense resin, made it myself, and uh, 
created a very accurate representative I called a fit and uh, I used plum because the creature itself it looks like a big juicy ripe plum and uh, also for the plum I used peach lactone which is also uh, the second scarab beetle uh, natural pheromone which it releases during the mating season and on the top notes I used blue lotus support because blue lotus is the second flower of each Egypt and has that wine-like quality, uh, wine-like facets, which really connects well with the wine, uh, wine and plum note of the middle and the base note of kiwi. Um, regards to the composition, I'll say I did. I had to do a lot of research. I fully had to immerse myself and. Uh, yeah, it was, it was very exciting for me to create uh, the second scarab. Um, as well as that, I wanted it to be representative of my what I'm able to do, uh, not only as an atar, but as a you know, experimental person to show the world. Yeah, this is you know, I'm, you know, I don't just do oils, I also spray paint. And um, uh, confident enough to say I do them relatively well. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the composition and uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts. Uh, thank you and God bless you. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Alexandre Boni and today I'm going to be presenting you the new project from the creator of Histoire de Barfin called Olivenum. So Olivenum is this line and we chose to name it Olivenum because they're all based on a core of frankincense. Olivenum is the Latin name of frankincense. And we chose this material because the idea behind this plant was to go back to a form of essential perfume. We wanted to use a brand that would be simple, conscious, honest and reasonable. So we went back to the drawing board, went back to the origins of the perfume itself, frankincense. And we use it as the common thread for all our fragrances. So it's very easy to navigate. It's frankincense and an honor star material. The formulas are all rather simple and short. So this enables you, allows you basically, to layer the perfumes together. And that's one of the key things of the brand. We encourage people to layer the fragrances together because they have the same common thread, because they have rather the same core, the same DNA, because they're all very simple to navigate. We want you to play, to discover a new relationship to perfume. So that's one of the main aspects of the brand. And the other, because I mentioned that we were trying to be conscious and honest, uh, we have a huge eco-conscious on this project. Every part of the packaging, from the bottle to the cap to the pump, every part is recycled. The glass we use is 40% less heavy than others, so lower carbon footprint, no plastic at all in the packaging, except for the little dip tube. Uh, the ink is natural, the colors and the pigments are rather natural as well. And as far as the natural materials are concerned, we also try to use upscaled, uh, upcycled ingredients. And with some ingredients, we actually partner with NGOs to get ethical ingredient sourcing. Uh, so it's a really, it's a full on project, it's a full on philosophy, but it's just easy to go through. It's playful, it's simple, it's fun. Uh, and we do have already some favorites we've just launched two months ago. So far, people do like it. Look like that. Uh, maybe I should take you through some favorites. So, I'll take you through the ombrette. So, the ombrette, which is. Ombrette is a seed from the cousin of the hibiscus flower. And we call it a uh, natural nuts because. Umbread naturally has umbread tonight. It's actually contained in the umbread seed. Uh, and the main quality of umbread when you use it in fragrance is this volume. It gives a lot of volume, a lot of sheen, a lot of light to any fragrance. So that's what we worked with the olibinum. So we've got olibinum CO2 that brings you a lot of freshness, zesty freshness, and then you get into something that's absolutely comfy. It's really downy, it's fuzzy, it's creamy, it's like tonic. It's just 
comfort in a bottle. I don't know why I squeaked it. Uh, basically, it means comfort in a bottle. And it's very easy to layer with anything. Like with Osmanthus, for instance. If I can find Osmanthus. Actually, the iris is very nice as well. Um, and so the iris, what I like about it, I think it's kind of different is that so Luca Maffei did Ombret and did Iris as well. And the two are, are very, very comfortable. The Iris has a little bit of a lily note. So it's not a very powdery Iris, but it's very waxy. It's deep. There's a density to it. It's very solar and skin-like to me. And this with Ombret is just a pairing that's just... I don't know made for heaven, but it's very gala uh, in a way. It, to me, it feels like you're on Saint Tropez in the 1960s and you're just walking, you know, on the Saint Tropez pier. Um, I mean, I can take you through everything. But, uh, yeah, maybe another one? Just one more. Oh, we could do Sakura. So, Sakura. So, Sakura has nothing to do with the sacrum bone. Uh, it says that Sakura, Bosvalia Sakura is the Latin name of the incense tree. And Sakura, basically, we really wanted to reproduce the scent of the resin as you take it off the bar. So we used frankincense CO2, frankincense oil, and our own frankincense resinoid that we've developed specifically for this project that we are aging with our own standards. So this one is very terpenic, very comfracious. It's really like you're literally ripping frankincense beads off the bark of the tree and you've got the splinters and you've got the needles, you've got the shade and you've got the minerality and uh, it's very vibrant and you can really feel the, if you like frankincense, it's literally, you're into it. You're, you're stuffing your nose into it. Uh, we've got 18 fragrances. The price range is uh, really, really, really nice. 28 euros for the small ones, 85 euros for the big ones. I mean, it's just to yeah, to have fun with fragrances and to discover a new relationship with them by playing with them and, and, and finding your own signature every day. That's it. Hi, I'm Gabriela Gabor Greffner. I have 16 years of experience in Greffner. And finally, I can meet you here at Exxon Smila after some years of break. And uh, during this time, I've worked a lot on my new perfumes, Stardust Mask, to a very powdery, delicate uh, fragrance with this touch of notes. And also, three days ago, I launched another new leather frame edition, the Koya RB edition. It starts with the point art and with very delicate and very details. I have to tell you that during this time, uh, continuously I work on the perfumes. I really invite you to check my website and also to discover my new perfumes. The new discovery kit is also ready for you. Hi, I'm Christian Hilberg. I'm the founder of Malmberg Perfumes, the Norwegian brand. Six fragrances. We'll have nine during this year. We have the cult following uh, perfume called Wildfire and Tigre de Bengal. It's a very volatile, spicy, peppery scent. It's like a scene in a story where a guy makes up a fire and makes love to his lady and uh, creates a shelter on the beach. Basically. And this is what you're smelling, the smoke, the sea, and uh, his sweat, I guess. That's it. And what's the other one? The Tic de Benga. Uh, the tigers use uh, scent as a, to convey messages uh, to the lady tigers about their social status uh, and uh, their ability to make kids and how strong they are. So the tigers would uh, they, uh, they strip the, the bark from the trees and they have a little piss on it and create this sort of monument, smell monument that sends this uh, signals to the lady tigers. And it, apparently it work, it, it's working very well for the tigers. I hope you get to try my fragrances.
Hello, my name is Daniel Henrywood and I'm the Creative and Commercial Director at Fragrance de Bois. Uh, we're here at Exxon's and we're having a wonderful time meeting all our partners and showcasing our new perfumes that launched this year. We have our wonderful, beautiful Cavort. This is a gorgeous rose absolute with jasmine. It's got wonderful richness and warmth inside the fragrance as well that I love. And we also have a wonderful secret tryst, which has a deep depth to it. Mmm, I really like this one. It's got this rich undertone that just stays with you. When you wear it this, it just radiates all day through the off the skin. Can't stop smelling it. <laughs> and then we have Solstice. Now this one in Milan, it's so warm today. So I'm wearing this one because to keep it really fresh, it's got this wonderful opening note of apple. And when you just want, when you're in the heat, you just want confidence when you wear a perfume sometimes and just like, I want to feel fresh. And this is the perfect scent for that, Solstice. And then of course, I'm from London, so I do have an affinity with our London Spice, and this is a crisp woody scent. We have an opening note of uh, spearmint with bergamot and some seed wood in the base. It's classic. This is anytime chic classic guy scent. And one thing I really want to talk about as well is that with these bottles now, we actually have such such great feedback because this is our bottle. We have an embossed logo on the back, these wonderful softened sides now, and we want to you know really make it ours. And people have loved it so much that we're actually rolling this out across the whole range. So you'll start to see all the fragrance of our bottles in this wonderful new glass. What a showcase! I'm so glad to showcase these perfumes here at Exxon's and I hope you go and try them soon and find which new release is your signature scent. Thanks so much for tuning in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the audio was not the best. Uh, the audio is a little off, but uh, it's just really loud at the event. And this was the best I could do with the audio. But let me know what you think about the footage and uh, which fragrances sound great to you. Are you excited for anything coming out? Did I miss anything? Yes, I wasn't able to cover the entire show. Obviously, I'm just by myself, uh, but uh, this is what I was able to capture. And if you, also, if you're not following me on Instagram. I have two different Instagram accounts, a personal one and also my perfume one. I'd have posted various posts there as well that uh, I discovered uh, different fragrances uh, from the show. So go catch those and then of course let me know what you enjoyed hearing about in today's video. Either way guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.